Hello, and welcome to our lesson on coordinates in four quadrants. So a coordinate grid has four quadrants. The first quadrant is when x and y are both positive. As you can see, the values of x are positive and the values of y are positive. The second quadrant is when the x values are negative and the y values are positive. Again, positive y but now we have negative x values. The third quadrant is when both x and y are negative. You can see here. And the fourth quadrant is when x is positive and y is negative. And a coordinate pair is made up of an x and a y value. Need to determine which quadrant the coordinate falls in. So for point A, you can see the x value is at 3 and the y value is also at 3. For coordinate H, you can see the x value is at 0 and the y value is at negative 3. And for point E, you can see the x value is at negative 3 and the y value is also at negative 3. Do you want to try and find the coordinate pairs for D, G and F? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Point D is at the coordinate when x equals negative 2 and y is equal to 0. Point G is when x equals 1 and y equals negative 1 and point f is when x equals negative 2 and y equals 3. Okay let's try some more questions. Coordinate i makes the points a b g i into a rectangle. We're going to find the coordinate pair of point i. We have a b and g to make it into a rectangle, opposite sides are the same length and parallel. So coordinate i must go here. And this is at 3, negative 1. Do you want to try and work out a possible pair of coordinates for j that makes ECJ into an isosceles triangle? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here we have the line EC. To make the line EC into an isosceles triangle, you can choose any of these points. So any of these coordinates could be your final answer. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you find that useful.